Hello everyone, this is Kelvin. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix the antenna, the 5.8G antenna connector on the B-Brain V3. So this is a, a board that is already broken. I just use it for demonstrations. Uh, so during this video, you will need um, the connector. This is the connector for the B-Brain BLV3. I believe it's the IPAX. I'm not sure about the uh, the size, but uh, I will uh, list it under the video, and then um, we will provide this uh, connector on our site. And I'm going to cut one out here, and then if your connector break off from the board, first of the things you have, you want to clean it up. So you will need solder wicks. You can pick up this from uh, Amazon or uh, some local electronic shops. But if you don't have the solder wicks, you can also use a wire. You can also use a normal wire. Just take, strip it out, and then use the metal, use the metal wire part at some flux. And this is a cheap soldering wick uh, flux. It's it works very very well and also it it is a no clean paste flux so you don't have to clean up later um, i really like this one you can find from amazon uh, and if you don't have wicks you can use wire and i'm going to show you how to use wire to take the extra solder out from the solder pad so just add a little bit flux to the metal wire and then you will need solder iron make sure your solder iron is set to a good temperature i would say uh, my personal experience i set it up to 750 uh, fahrenheit uh, 750 fahrenheit and um, let's take out the, the extra solder on the board so in here, um, I like to use one finger to hold the board down to make sure it's not moving around. And then put down the wire. The wire already have uh, frocks on it. Just attach it and you will see the extra, the extra solder get sucked up by the metal wire. And be very, very careful when you're doing this clean up, make sure you don't touch other components around the plug um, or you will causing uh, other damage that it's more difficult to fix. And here's a little bit more in here. And um, once you clean it up, you can see the pad is more, more fed out because there is no extra solder on it. I mean, there is a still a little bit, but you want to make it as flat as possible. Because uh, when you're doing the soldering for the uh, the part, uh, the connector here, you want it to be as flat as possible because you don't have a uh, hot air gun, like something like this. This is good for cheap soldering. If you don't have this, then you want to keep the surface as flat as possible. So let me show you. Next step, I'm going to take out the chips. The connector here. Let's take out the connector. And make sure the connector have two sides. As you can see here from the back. One, one with metal to connect to the center pin. And the other one is ground. You don't want to put the ground pad, um, the ground pad to the signal pad, and on the B brain with this orientations, this is the signal pad. This is the ground pad. So ground pad, ground pad, ground pad, and signal pad in here at the edge. So this pad have to connect to this pad, so it will sending the signal to the center pin. So the next step will be adding a little bit of flux to the connector, 
the bottom of the connector and then I will just add a little bit on the bottom and then you would like to put it on because when you have flux it will, it, will, it will stick to it and then you want to locate it perfectly okay and now I'm going to add solder to um, the solder pad and it will throw the solder pad on the connector to the board so I will add a little bit solder to the tips here and then I like to apply the solder on the signal pad because that's the pad close to the edge and it's the most uh, convenient locations to apply solder to uh, keep the connector in the locations and then we can add solder later on both two ground pad when you see you add a little bit solder don't touch the pad uh, don't touch the pad on the connector see when I add solder there's a tiny that's a bright uh, ball shape solder that stick to it and now it's already uh, connect to um, like both pad is already connected together by the solder and with this point I like to add solder to the other pad uh, which is the ground pad on the other side and when you do this part make sure you don't touch the other components around this area that will causing other damage that is very very difficult to repair so uh, when you do this side make sure you are using the tips of your soldering iron and then make sure don't shake your hand it's very difficult so see now i apply a little bit solder on this edge and now two ground pad uh no one ground pad and one signal pad they already uh have the the whole plug that is uh locked down to the board and now you can start adding solder or like just i, I would call it like refill the solder to let it mix with um, the plug, the plug ground pad in here, and this is a. It is this step you have to be like very very careful. You don't want to, accidentally touch, the components in here. So I would do it this way. And you see. It's on, and this one is a little bit more difficult. This is the most difficult part during this repair process because a connector in here is plastic you don't want to touch it and in here this is the plug you don't want to like uh, touch the the ground ring um, because so once the solder stick to the ring you can't use this plug anymore you have to replace it so you have to be very very careful start from the edge and just do this I still touch a little bit for the connector in here but it, it's fine it should be fine so once once you see the solder throat it melts down and then it getting solid again that's good so I'll, I'll say this is probably a it's not a perfect repair but it works uh, without the heating gun if you don't have the heating gun the cheap soldering gun and uh, you only have solder iron. That's the only way to repair the plugs in here. So, uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, just leave a comment below, and then uh, we will answer and trying to help you guys. All right, thanks for watching.